the offstage presence. DK back air takes no prisoners. Oh, yeah. Best believe it has enough percent to knock Snake right up off that cypher and right on his ass, man. So we will see how that plays to effect right here. Of course, breaking the zone. I do have the grenades. Every stray hit that DK goes for that ain't clean, you're going to eat a little bit of percent. But, then, yeah, see, as you can see, it's already starting to cook up right here. One fun thing. Ah! Oh, okay. <laughs> Just the bare threat of that. One thing I think, you know, that's going to really help Chunky a lot of this, too, is a lot of times, you know, characters that Snake goes against, he tends to pretty much outweigh them pretty heavily, right? Fact, fact. For Donkey Kong, though, he can really get some longevity out of these stocks. This is a character that's built to last. Yeah, he's definitely built for the long run, and I'm glad you brought that up. I think, you know, survivability is definitely going to be the name of the game here. Who can really get their money's worth out of this stock? Uh, this first one, of course, you know, kind of going the distance right here for Apollo Kage. Got to make sure you approach DK properly as well, too. You know, it has armor on some of his moves. Can't eat right up through those grenades. Wonderful spot dodge right there through the down special. Talk about some Matrix movement if I've ever seen it. Talk about a loud crowd, man. We haven't even seen a stock lost yet. And they are already coming to life. Nice job uh -oh. on the nair, though. Nikita not quite there, but the pressure from Snake. Oh, tries to go up for a back air, but Chunky Kong beating him to the punch. It's a nice grab. Going to toss him. And there it is. First stock going to Chunky Kong. That's right. Now, this task at hand becomes a little bit harder when you give a heavy character of this stature and somebody potting like Chunky Ooh. Kong the lead. That's right. The immediate parry right into the up B is looking like Evil 2015 right now. He's up being all over the place. There it is, man. And it's looking pretty strong right now for Chunky. Gets that first stock already 45% attached. And again, big boy is Snake, but as is Donkey Kong. Okay, the air dodge going to get clipped by the Nikita. And that's going to put us back on even footing as far as the stocks go. Ooh. Oh, my goodness, just like that. Look at those explosions. It's coming to life. That's right, and he's snake. playing around the grenade so well, too, Rod. Got to gotta give a lot of credit to that. Yeah, I mean, that's not an easy thing to do when you're a character of this size right here. But, of course, it's all about the control of the terrain for a player like Apollo Kage, Pilot, and Snake. Nice. Gets that sh uh, jump nair off the platform. Very Ooh. smart. Down smash was coming. But he said, this head's a little stronger, my friend. Don't play with me. I'm saying, man, I do like that response for sure. Hey, popping up, swinging that back here. As you said, Rod, something you absolutely need to look out for. That closes stocks in a heartbeat. Another big toss and another big stock for Chunky. The crowd is feeling it. Their boy is one stock away from getting this first game. That's right, but the job ain't done yet. This is still Apollo Kage we talked about. Now, we talked about the offstage game. Oh, nice. Um, you know, Chunky Kong yeah. would have to say it can be said the other way around, too. Nikita's a big thorn in DK's side. And, of course, DK, big target. Has to watch out twice as hard for Grenade. And, of course, C4 right there, courtesy of that next stock. So, 46.3. This match will get a little out of control if they ain't played properly. Absolutely. One thing about Apollo Kage, man, no, no matter the circumstances, this kid always seems to show up and thrive, but unfortunately, the up in this sentence means defeat into the blast zone, and Chunky Kong takes game number one. And look at the contrast to them, Rod. You see Apollo sitting there with those little headphones just trying to block out the crowd noise, just wants the game sound. Chunky embracing it, mm -hmm. leaning into this crowd that has certainly invested everything into him. That's right. I mean, this is how you cheer for your boy right here. It's Chunky Kong, of course, has had quite the journey here at Let's Make Moves Miami. Now, fortunate enough on the loser side, but damn it, I got to give it to Chunky Kong in that last game. He's playing like he's on the loser side right now. He knows that he has a lot to lose and he cannot afford to drop right now. Now, Apollo Kage, Got to give it to him in a couple of them interactions, too. Made the terrain his own. Made it very difficult for DK to maneuver around. As we know, you catch me off my feet. You catch me off stage. Best believe DK is coming out there for forward air or most notably back air. Apollo Kage, before that even started, went for Nikita. was like, yo, let me go ahead and reinforce myself right now, man. You ain't getting me off stage for free. Shades of the old Smash 4 ding dong on that final kill of game number one to Grant. Chunky Kong, that victory. Let's see how game number two pans out. A little more space to work with here on Town & City. See if it pans out That's for right. Apollo Kage. Okay, well, let's see how it all goes right here. Apollo Kage, of course, playing the home on the range, the long-range game, if you will, right here. Just letting the grenades do the talking right there. But do not seem to matter right here. I'm a goddamn gorilla. You think I'm afraid of that? <laughs> Don't play with me, bro. Okay, nice. Standing jab. Very smart right there just to check the temperature again. DK, very easy character to combo around, especially at these lower percents. Oh, man. Talk about staring death in the face. I'm telling you, just fearless right now. All right, nice. Be reversal. Get out of that predicament. I'm just going to throw these nades out here. That heavy artillery for Snake tends to serve him quite well. Nikita. Okay, mm. there it is. Yep. A little, little late to Oh, the party. tracking him down too, Rod. Mm. Here comes another one. Not going to quite make it there in time. Oh, my goodness. Both of them fading those big aerials. Detonate that C4 and then just go for a last-minute dash attack. Mm -hmm. Able to force out the up tilt as well. First stock going the way of Apollo oh. Kage. And then 
the other way he goes because there goes the stock immediately. That's right. The way the dinosaurs, if Crazy. you will, right there, man. Just such a messed up thing to see. And I really wanted to talk about that uptick that we've seen just a moment before. Yeah. You know, we got more terrain to work with. DK has to approach a little bit more aggressively right now. But DK, as strong of a character as he is, you know his options are. They're pretty telegraphed. You can try to bait out that dash attack. You get there before he does. Percent speaking in your favor. Throw that up to that and see what happens, man. Okay, grenades on lock right here. No platform, so oh. it's FD, if you will. And I like that. Trying to catch the B reverses every time with that uh, B reverse of his own down B. Looking oh, nice. for the multi hits on the landing. Yeah, you're definitely seeing this, you know, this additional space really start to pan out for Apollo Kage. More room for the setups, more space. Uh, to disengage if that is necessary. Love that back there, good connection, and just always having something out there for Chunky Kong to have to navigate around. Goes for a big time swing right there. Okay, not a big time punish though, so won't see that happen twice, that. but again, platforms back on the ready. He said, are you gonna try to mix me up? Think you're gonna land in front of me or on top of me? Think twice, my friend. This boot, don't take no prisoners. Yes, sir. The way he was kind of uh, walking back, too. Almost like he baited Chunky to come down there and try and be a little offensively minded. Had the up tilt waiting. And again, we're seeing that two times in a row now. Up tilt securing some stocks. But the haymaker coming through. Little Jake Paul for you. <laughs> don't do it. <laughs> don't, don't. I'm sorry, man. We all saw it. <laughs> we all saw it, man. I'm still trying to forget about it. That's the real issue. <laughs> Okay, but another issue right here is that this once upon a time Apollo Kage lead is no longer a thing right now, man. The Chunky Kong, of course, has brought it back down to even stocks for cents. Slightly different narrative, but we will see if Chunky Kong can try to, you know, impose his will right here. Nice. Gets the short hop down there, force him into the corner. Gets a oh second one. This is looking fantastic. If you're an Apollo Kage fan, you're feeling like this is all but written. And there it is, forcing the air dodge, having control of the position on the ground, mm -hmm. and finishing off that stock. Great bounce back game for Apollo Kage, not letting the crowd rattle him, making that counter pick work for him, and keeping things evened up one apiece. 100%, man. I'm really glad you brought up, uh, you know, the idea of, like, what the terrain means to both of these two characters. Of course, DK... Yeah, you know, bigger stages or whatever, smaller stages, I want to make sure I can try to grab you a little bit easier, get yeah. my hands on you and tear you up. But again, DK's options, as strong as they are, kind of telegraph. Like, DK has some very set things that he has to do in the neutral. And with so much space to work with, you, a player of Apollo Kage's uh, you know, caliber is yeah. going to be like, okay, I can read this out. You're going to go for dash tag. You're going to try to overextend just to try to break that zone because my grenades are just a little bit too much for you. The minute you slip up, boom, up oh. tilt. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to just let it sink. Yeah, now, now, uh, that, that was probably Probably a missed input, but nonetheless, it did work out. I've had that happen a couple times, but nonetheless, able to work out in that circumstance. Okay. We'll definitely take all the percent we can certainly get. Same can certainly be set for Chunky Kong. Comes off that platform with that patented DK back air, but on the topic of back airs, Apollo Kage said, I got a couple of my own, and mine lasts a little long, my friend. Okay, no platforms, though. This is where things get very scary for Apollo Kage. Has to make sure we keep this match on the ground as much as possible, because if you don't, you get caught off your feet. DK can beautiful. harass like Abs no other. Absolutely beautiful. I mean, again, just the control right now. It's curious to see that, that Chunky elected to kind of go back to this stage. Uh -huh. Obviously, he did have some success uh, in that game, just didn't result in the victory. But yeah, you can definitely see Apollo Kage, of course, not going to have any reservations about going back here. Plenty of space to work with, and you're seeing just kind of putting that into effect, especially Rod with the lead right now. Yeah, and I'd like to see some more ledge traffic too, man. You know, it has the lead, but I mean, again, what really is a lead when, you know, you're getting hit with F2, you're getting hit with Nikita, and of course, most notably, grenades are kind of pinning you down into the corner. I get it. You want to try to press a button to get out of the corner, but if you hit these grenades, you're off your feet, and boom, I can combo a little easier. Grenade saving my skin right there. Okay, C4 can't quite cover him, but the CQC looking really good right here on uh, Apollo Kage's behalf. Oh, nice. Good conversion. That was fantastic. Yep. Okay. All right, good setup, but still the lead right now remaining with Apollo Kage. Okay, Ooh, nice. again, man. It's just, just it almost just kind of like hurting him to be exactly where he wants him in the sky, right? In the sky, on the ground. It does not matter. The Nikitas continue to fly. Great grab here. Let's see. Ooh, it's going to go right into that forward tilt combination. Yep. Okay, there she is. Oh, this, leading this the charge. Herself. That is terrifying. Oh, okay. Try to get, okay, I see some 20, uh, 2018 snake stuff coming out right there. Yeah, I did like the fact that he went for the grab. I think he went for the jab first. Like immediate grab would have just got it right there, but still. Fantastic situation to be in, and look at that. Just first option. Okay, very clean. I thought we were for sure going to see like a down throw up to, especially like the 181% mark, but was able to get it done coast to coast style right there with back air. Okay, as you can see right here, Chunky Kong knows he's in the deficit here, but not a big deficit at all. Just needs one solid hit. Oh, Looking nice. for a grounded option. Nice. Gets to get up attack. Doesn't take any percent off of it, though. Of course, intangible. With a lead is a scary thing. 
But off stage against DK oh. can be as well. Nice. Cypher actually interrupting that. Gonna clip the grenade. We're getting some additional damage. Oh my goodness, though. Man, Chunky not catching any breaks right now. And again, you're seeing, Rod, the grenades, the impact that they are having, just helping control the space and giving a lot of second chance opportunities to Apollo Kage. Mm -hmm. yeah, I mean, just as much as we talk. Oh, That's yeah, it. Wrap it up. Yeah, I mean, definitely oh, wrap it up. That, that wasn't a clean one at all. You know, Apollo Kage, of course, certainly in his bag yet, if you will. Um, you know, as much as I talk about and I stress, you know, how difficult it can be for Snake to get back onto solid ground platforms or not, I'm just going to be real. Snake is just not a dude that needs to be in the air. I mean, the same could definitely be said for DK as well. Um, of course, Snake's going to have a slightly different approach when it comes to harassing yep. DK from up front of Neve. Has Nikita, has grenades right there to cover himself. He even has one he can hold in his hand. Boom, grenade explosion. Boom, I got up air. But we didn't really see a lot of that. It was really up tilt. That was really able to force Apollo Kage that victory. Clean stuff, but the job ain't done yet. Not, not at all. It's, it, it's really just the disadvantage that mm -hmm. Apollo Kage is able to put uh, Chunky Kong in. That has really just been the difference makers between game one uh, and two and three. So I would be very surprised to see if we get back, go back to town and city. Something tells me we're going to be taking a trip somewhere else. Let's see, maybe a small battle. No, oh my. Smashville. Okay, I like Smashville. Okay. Hey, this is going to go one or two ways for a big character. I, I mean, it could definitely go their way, but it could also get a little scary because, again, the projectiles, these grenades and C4 is just controlling the entirety of the terrain. That middle platform is going Ooh. to be incredibly beneficial right now. Yes, sir. So let's see if it will, in fact, make a difference. Love the fact the crowd's still very much so in this. Rooting for their boy, man, Chunky. Yeah, you said the now, job now, now, done now the crowd is feeling Chunky, right? What's the chat feeling? Let me open this up real quick. What is the chat feeling? Do you want Apollo Kage or you, do you want Chunky? Let me know real quick. I'm curious. Okay, Chunky well. is down. Needs to win this. A must-win game for oh, him. Oh, my goodness. Damn. Catches that stanky leg. Nikita. Okay, the oh, lazy Nikita. Love that mix-up. Let it drop ever so slightly off the ledge. Down smash, rinse, and repeat. Definitely leaving my man Chunky Kong high and dry right there. Now, this is exactly what you want to see if you're a Paul Kage. I got the lead, and as we know, Phil, we have seen Snake in most way to race to smash. You give Snake the lead, he becomes the most difficult guy in the world to fight, but not while Chunky Kong's on the screen. Get see the that, hell off my stage. You see that biceps from DK? You get yoked up at that percent. Don't even think about it. Start thinking about that second stock, because that's exactly where you're headed. Mm -hmm. Okay. One way ticket right here to the next stock, indeed. 35%. Starting to climb up. Want to make sure I get some sort of wind up on my punch just for the sake of the mix up as well. But also, I want a little strength on my behalf. Okay, back row. Oh, okay, I thought he was actually going to go for like back here. Possibly jump on the other side, back row, but kind of lets him off the hook. Now, as you said before, Phil, this top platform very beneficial right here for Paul Kaga. I can say the same for Chunky Kong. Yes, 100%, man. That could be the difference maker for your approaches. Minus some, some opportunity to just kind of reset. Right, D reversal, very smart mm. stuff. We see that quite often. Nice, I love that. Just letting that dare fly. And look at the pressure right now, Rod. Just rinse and repeat. Yeah, he's kind of stuck in a hard spot right here. This up smash, of course, taking no prisoners. The timing, yes. bro. The time, I mean, this is the precision. Need. Now, yes, is DK an exploitable character in the corner off stage? Yes. But you can't just press buttons willy-nilly. A player like Tony Khan is going to know how to bob and weave through a lot of your shenanigans. You're going to have to think twice as hard oh when it comes Lord. to trapping and edge guarding him. But damn, the CQC looking crazy. We're talking about bobbing and weaving. How about just getting bopped? Yeah, seriously. And whittled down. That's exactly what we're seeing at the moment. Tremendous lead for Apollo Kage. And this is really going to put a lot of pressure on Chunky, who, again, has to just continue to approach the projectiles and the ways to obviously move around. But you're just seeing those grenades really just start to be more impactful. Played around them really sensationally in that first game. But oh. obviously, uh, Apollo Kage has kind of turned it up in that regard. Oh, and this is such uh, since a that tough first, thing. Since that first bout. Yeah, and I, I'm agree with you on that one, Phil. This is just a tough thing to see. I think Nikita's going to go ahead and get She's going to get the job done. Miss Nikita's here. You're, you're, you're done. Oh, yeah, it's yeah. done. One and way or another. Yeah, one way or another, she's going to find the target. Now, I got to really give it to Chunky Kong. You know, when it comes to approaching characters with a lot of projectiles, or some that maybe, like, might not be projectile focused, but focus more so on, like, setting up shop. Yep. You use things like B-reverse down B to try to get yourself in, but when you got grenade covering you, now you have to counter punches twice as much, and I think Apollo Kage just took full advantage of that. So big shout out to him. And kudos, I mean, and really big kudos uh, to Apollo Kage on that one for sure. I mean, not getting rattled at all. It's hard to, it's hard to play not only against a great opponent, but a very lively crowd, you know what I'm saying? And, and, and uh, you know, in a lot of these instances, it's just like for football, for example, sure. you know, loud crowd, loud stadium, called it the 12th man, you know what I'm saying? Well, here you had the second man yes, and all the crowd just against him. But, no, he was able to overcome that. A lot of respect. And a big respect to Chunky Kong, too. A lot of last game situations that he was able to overcome throughout the